I brought you some breakfast. I'm not hungry. Look, I took the trouble of preparing it. You could at least have the courtesy to try it. What am I doing here? Well, I almost ran over you with my car last night. And in the condition you were in, I could hardly have left you lying in the middle of the street. So now I'm supposed to say thank you. That's up to you. I've got to be going. If you like. But I would suggest that you stay. You mean uh, you want me to stay? Not if I had any choice. But as it is, I have to follow through with my Good Samaritan Act to the end. Look, I don't need any favors from you. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> See what I mean? Whether you like it or not, you're going to have to stick around for a few more hours, so you may as well have a bite. You live here alone. I don't see what that has to do with you. I don't give a damn either way. Yes. Yes, what? I live here alone. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You got guts. Why do you say that? You pick up a stranger from the street and you bring him home. <laughs> in New York. This happens only in the movies. I pick up stray dogs and cats, too. Besides, you've got too much of a baby face to be a criminal. You know something? I don't like you. That's mutual. So what's your name? Ari. Ari? You're a foreigner? Mm, I'm a Greek. My family's from the Mediterranean area also. We're Israeli. Mm. The man who raised me was Jewish. <coughs> Give me some coffee over there. Yes, Your Majesty. What do you do for a living? I work for a publishing company. I'm a secretary. You? I sing. I write songs. And you're good? Very good. Oh. And modest, too. Well, Greek who was raised by a Jew, I have to go to work now. You can stay here if you like and get some rest. You need it. If I don't see you when I get back, good luck. Oh, uh, and, um, please don't go off with my silverware. Go to hell. <laughs> Bye now. Back already? Mm, beautiful. <laughs> uh, uh, I wanted to take you out to dinner, but uh, I have no money, so I thought I would make dinner for you here. So what is it? Pasticcio. It's a Greek speciality. Mm, smells fantastic. I'm hungry. So, that's it. I just had a feeling that I'd still find you here this evening. I decided I wanted to thank you. Well, you finally come around to it. How do you say cheers in Greek? Yes. Yes.
I set up an appointment for you. My boss at the publishing company knows someone who has a nightclub, and they want to hear you sing. I told you, I don't want any favors. No favors. They just want to hear you sing. If they like you, they'll hire you. If not... What's your name? <laughs> Miriam. Miriam? Yasu Miriam. Yasu Ai. When I see cloudy sky, I don't mind it, but they know it's a matter of time. You know, I was down at the club yesterday. It's really starting to take shape. Yeah, it's looking great, but there's still one thing missing, and that's a name. It should be something that sounds light. Mm, something carefree. What about something with wind, a hot wind? Didn't the Greeks have a word for that? We still do. Sirocco. You know, that really has got a nice sound. I like that. Yeah, I like that, too. That's him right over there. I want you guys to remember that face. During the Middle East War, he was over there entertaining our enemies with all his shit. 
Now we saw another track. He organizes benefits. Sends tons of money down there. So they can make worth us. When do we knock the shit out of him? You just wait. Get a good look at him. Let's move. I would like your honest opinion. Do you believe that these terrorists are completely unjustified in their actions? I believe that every race has a right to have a homeland. Especially a race that has suffered so much over the years as the Jewish people. And unfortunately, the homeland is still being doubted by some. Well, we wish you great success with your concert next week. And thank you for your very candid interview. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's the way the program's been arranged. Worked out there shouldn't be any problem. What do you think, Ari? It all sounds great to me. Then after Mercedes finishes her last song, I'll introduce you. Uh, before you introduce me, how about announcing the pledges? Sure. And then you can do your new song. Right. Okay, then. I'll take care of the rest of the details. Arrange for the critics and the press. I'll check back with you later. Okay, Sid. I want you to know that I appreciate everything you're doing. Sure. <laughs> See you later. Right, bye. bye. Well, everything is going fine. See, it's uh, getting it all organized. Is something wrong? Since you returned to New York, you've been working in this place morning, noon, and night. I hardly ever see you. And when I am with you, your mind is someplace else. It's as if I don't even exist anymore. I can't help it. I want this concert to be great. But don't you see? When this concert's over, it'll be something else. And on and on and on. Your life is in danger. You've already been threatened twice. Why do you go on? Haven't you done enough? Look, Miriam, those people over there, they need our help. I can't sit back now and be a spectator to their cause. The cause? Ari, the cause is important to me, too. But what about me? What about us? We live together. I'm a woman, damn it. OK, OK. You want to go out tonight? How about dinner? Dinner? You really don't understand. I just want to go home.
Now do you see what I mean? It's so stupid to go on. Can't you see these people mean business? Just give it up. I've had enough. I've really had enough. Calm down, Miriam. Calm down, Miriam. What do you think I've been trying to do all these months? Living in fear day after day, fearing for your life. This game, I mean, has certain rules, Miriam. I have to accept them. Well, I consider it stupid to set yourself up as a target in the name of some idea. Others die every day in your country in the name of that idea. This is my country. And I feel I've already done my part for those who are getting killed over there. But the war is over now, and we're over here, and I want us to live. I'm sick of being a heroine. I want us to live, do you understand? Live! Then maybe we'd better separate. Ari, what kind of a solution is that? Oh, damn it, Ari. Can't you see that I want a man next to me I can be sure of? A man who won't make me live in constant fear that one day I'll see him with a knife stuck in his back or riddled with bullet holes. Is that so much to ask? I'm sorry, but I can't change. I can't back out now because I don't want to back out. I'd consider that a betrayal of myself, of the things I most deeply believe. And I'm not a traitor. Oh, come on, Ari. Standing up for the things you believe in doesn't mean you have to give up your life for them. You have an obligation to yourself, too, and to me. Miriam. I truly love you, and I don't want anything to happen to you because of me. Perhaps it's better this way. You'll be better off without me. You egotistical bastard! It seems to me at times that all you live for is to play the hero, admiring yourself in the mirror and ignoring everyone around you. You selfish, stubborn, conceited man! Don't you understand it's impossible to win the cause single-handed? Who do you think you are? Who gave you the right to trample all over me? You know what the trouble with you is? You're living in the past. You're still haunted by the ghost of that Jewish man, Joseph, who raised you. Well, the past is dead, my friend. And so is that damn Joseph. Just forget he ever existed. I have a yizzle. What's that tonic taste? Sure. Yes, gentlemen. Could we have two beers, please? Two beers. Is that enough tonic? Yeah. You must be new here. I've worked here enough for a few weeks. You must come more often. Now that you're here? I'll probably come here more often, <laughs> as long as you're on duty. <laughs> hey, how about another one, huh? What do you say? Yes, if you will join me. <laughs> Sorry, but we're not allowed to drink during working hours. After work, then. If I don't get drunk, we're waiting for you to finish. <laughs> hey, you. What about some service? Yes, sir. What do you have? Double whiskey. Hurry up. What's the matter? Why in the hell did you find this stupid brother half and come here and serve drinks? If I were you, I'd throw her out right now. I'm sorry, it was a She's been by drink all over me, this stupid cow. Sir, sir, shut sorry. up! Shut up! Hey, you! Are you addressing me? Yeah. And what do you want? Do you mind being more polite to the lady?
I didn't hear that. I said be more polite to the lady. job is just to supplement my income. <laughs> nice little place you have here. Mm -hmm. You make good money as a model? I do all right. Is that where you sleep? Uh-huh. Hello? I have no permanent relationship, if that's what you mean. Good. That makes two of us. Two dollars. The world over. <laughs> loners of the world unite. If they united, <laughs> they wouldn't be loners anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Very profound, my friend. Very profound. <laughs> Let me guess. It's your father? <laughs> right the first time. How do you do, sir? <laughs> you do that often, track the photograph? <laughs> I heard the photograph once. My father's. Many years ago. I used to talk to it a lot. Well, some of us get our kicks talking to photographs and uh, others. Shut up! <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Tell me something. How often have you done what you wanted? I mean, what you really wanted. Not very often. Why? Maybe I don't have a strong enough character. Maybe I'm in a very tough business, and I have to compromise a lot. Why? Why do you have to compromise? Modeling's a very competitive business. In order to get ahead, you have to learn to smile a lot, be nice to people, and not to step on anyone's toes. After a while, you learn to realize that you're being used. Was it that important to you to get ahead? Mm, when I was a little girl, my grandmother used to say to me, Ellen, one day you're going to make us all very proud of you. So your name is Ellen, hmm? <laughs> What's yours? Aris. Aris. May I propose a toast in honor of Aris and Ellen? <laughs> because you see, we were a poor family. That's what my grandmother meant when she said... What did she mean? That, that I'd be rich one day, because... Because? Because that's what... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? That's what being rich means to a poor family. <laughs> Ari. <laughs> so now she must be... Must be what? Proud of you. Your grandmother. Mm. She's mm. dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not paying any attention. Of course I am. To my sad story, I mean. I am. Mm. No, you're not. Mm. Does it matter? Not really. Mm. Oh, Ari. I'm so glad there's no other girl in your life. I have to be going. It's late. Wait. Don't go yet. Ari. Difficult for me to say this. But I think... I feel I'm going to fall in love with you. I want you to stay here tonight, with me.
<laughs> okay, okay, boys. The concert will be in five days. Hey, Ari. Some guy called me yesterday and threatened me. Oh, uh, listen. If any of you feel that your life is in danger and you don't want to be in this concert, please let me know now. I won't hold it against you. No, 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 no. no. We're, We're with you, Ari. All the way. Thank you very much, boys. It means a lot to me. That's all for the day. Her again. Why don't you tell her to stop bothering you? Please. Do you mind if we change the subject? Hmm? Okay, darling. You need to relax. Your big night's coming up next week. I think someone's following us. Want something? Hey, you know who he is? He's famous. The Israeli singer. Why are you following me, huh? I'm not following you, man. I'm just going around for a ride. Just stop following me, okay? Hey, man. Can I have your autograph, please? That's okay. You can give it to us next time. We'll be seeing you anyway. You shit-faced motherfucker. You've got a cock-sucking son of a bitch. Cocksucker. Ah. 